was going to do this today, but I'm going to save this for next week because there's uh, one more doctor that I want to consult on this. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So we have Renee Parquet. I'm loving these like one-on-one -on -one interviews that they're doing with Re Renee Parquet right now. That has been a great addition to Dynamite. It has been a great addition to Dynamite. She's doing a great job with them. So Renee Parquet interviewed Soraya away from Britt Baker being an interrupter, Jamie Hayter, one of them, or Rebel. And she did it like early in the day, you know, when I guess no one else was around. So she, she could finally talk to Soraya without being interrupted by Baker. So she basically talked to her about, you know, uh, basically welcome her back into pro wrestling after, you know, being with, you know, being away from the business for a few years here now, um, after her time in WWE, just like with Renee Paquette herself. Um, and she talks about how she just wanted to be a part of AEW, how special it felt, felt like a rebel company that she really wanted to be a part of. And then she asked her where, she, where things stand from a medical standpoint. And she says, there's one more doctor that she wants to consult. <laughs> Bang. Awesome, Serena. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, they never announced get when this match will be taking place, her first match in years. I think that this is a huge... Look, Soraya back in the ring is going to be hugely anticipated because we haven't seen her in the ring in so long. And a lot of people out there never see it again because of her medical condition with the scolarosis, what is it called, scolarosis or whatever, that, that spine injury she has. But I guess she's been cleared and she's going to fight Britt Baker. I wonder if it's going to be at full gear because Jamie Hayter has her match. It was already announced against Tony Storm. So I wonder if that's when it's going to take place. But I'm loving it. I love the way she just... She uh, the way she was talking to Britt Baker last week, the way she she left off with that cliffhanger, pretty good stuff. It's it's simple, and that's the thing that I like about it. It was simple, very very simple. Thank you guys for watching this one. Oh my my bad. Hit that like button. <laughs> Hit that like button. I forgot about that. Hit the like button. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments I got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below, or hit my cash app. Uh, the cash tag. Is dollar sign sack exchange. Um, so you uh, hit any donos there. And uh, shout out to Rob Smith for the um, for the five dollar dono uh, last week. I appreciate it, buddy. And if you send a dono, your name and you know it will be on the screen. All right. So to wrap this up, man. So later on, we had Britt Baker do a little bit of an interview with Tony Schiavone this time. That's her guy, you know, it's Tony Giovanni. So we're going to talk about that next, and we're going to see what she said there. But hopefully we get an interaction between both ladies next week because I love it when they fight against each other. I love it when they bicker, man. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, and I'm loving it. Thank you guys for watching. Afternoons to like.